Hello and welcome. I am Natalia. I am not showing my face right now because I just don't feel like it. But I am doing this tutorial because I have been researching like a long time for someone to help me use my power save inside my Mac computer and I know there's a lot of people that actually use my computer and they don't know like how to install windows in the middle of your Mac there's like several ways to do that and I can prove to you right now that it actually works like your power save um, if I can go to my <coughs> I use VirtualBox, I don't actually use the bootcamp because this is not my computer, it's my father's computer. So if I start and I show you the program right here for PowerSafe. Give me a second. Hopefully you can see this and Where is my power save? Oh, here, it's okay. If you open the power save, it says that I have it connected. And So, I connect my power safe right now to my Mac computer. Ta-da! It works. And to prove a little more, I'm gonna take one of my 3DS games, put it inside the slot. And voila! It's, it's actually working and it's, I'm still in my Mac computer, I'm not... Nothing has changed. And I, I didn't change like my computer or anything. I use just this program. So let me show you guys how to make this work. So it's very simple. First of all, you have to download this program, which is in this page. Virtual Box Oracle. It's um, free to use, so you just download. This one right here, the one that says Virtual Box 4.314 for IO for OS X iOS. And after you download, you're gonna have a file in your downloads. Which is right here. It's gonna say the same thing. You open it, you download it like you normally download anything. Uh, obviously, if it's, if it's not working, you... Oops. If it's not working, you go to your download folder. If it's not opening and it's telling you something about it's an outsource or whatever, you just press control and you press on the thing that you download and open. It's going to ask you again to open and you just open it. After, you're going to open the file that is going to be actually out here, but I already moved it over here. And you got to go to new. You're going to make a Windows. Oh, yeah, for this, for this part, you're going to need a file of Windows. I'm going to have one below in the descriptions too. You're gonna press OK. 
well for you it's recommended to have this much but if you can add more so your computer won't be slow but you just can leave it to 512 I, I have it like an 87 870 you create a virtual hard drive now I already have mine but it's gonna create another one I don't want to create another one but if you do you go you create one you select this one virtual machine disk you leave it as it is don't fix don't split leave it as, as it is you continue you need at least 25 gigabytes obviously you're gonna have a lot because my computers come with a lot I I'm okay with I'm gonna put like 100 and something I don't want to be wasting my memory right now so you create it blah, 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 and it's gonna come up here it's gonna be empowered powered off so you go back you get in and here is the part that is gonna ask you for the Windows file you open up the downloads you're probably gonna have my windows which is this one right here x17 you open it you start it's gonna be starting like this then it's gonna ask ask you how to install the windows and all that stuff you do the same per the same um process like if you were actually installing a windows there it is it's gonna ask you for the cd and all the stuff you select all the stuff that you need you press next install now this is a thing that you're gonna do something different though waiting for it okay you accept you go next and instead of going upgrade because if you upgrade, it's going to ask you for CDs and DVDs and all that stuff. You just go to custom. You do the one that you already did. I'm not going to do it. This is a lot, like this is the last step that you need to take. I'm not going to do it because it, then it's going to erase everything I have in the other one. You press, you select that one. Um, it's not going to ask you like me to format it. I'm not going to format it my thing because I already have mine you go to next and you just apply everything through and it's gonna load for a little while and then you're gonna be done with it hopefully it helps you hopefully this helps you out this is how I did it I'm gonna delete it because I already have mine so when you actually get it going and you're already oh if you want a full screen the option is right here that's why mine goes to full screen right away you can switch from full screen to and you can watch also when it got the first time it, it comes in a, like a little screen you can do the resolution just like if it was a normal computer rise the resolution a little bit so it looks even bigger even though it's not full screen And when you're already here and you have, you know, your power save, your power save have the, the address where you have to download the program. If you need it, it's going to be in the description too, just in case. I don't know if you're going to need it because I already have it here. And you download it normal. I have the proof that I actually download it in my downloads folder and here it is I open that and I use a program and again if you need proof that it actually works you just open it up I don't have it connected I connect my power save like if it wasn't an actual computer and it works there is actually one step that you have to do um, 
and your devices you're gonna ha have right here USB devices and it's gonna come up here like my headphones my headphones are like not selected they're not able to be selected so you can fix this what you do is you go to the machine you go to settings and in the settings go to ports USB and you add filter from device and you select the device that you want to add obviously you're gonna add Danto 3ds power site for you and when you do that you don't have to do it twice I have it I don't know why I have it twice and I don't know which one I have selected so I'm just gonna leave it in like that you add it you can add it from here from devices is better because it's a hundred percent sure that it's gonna work and after a while you can just connect it and you don't have to wait for yourself to have a windows you can just download this and it doesn't take more than up to like 10 15 minutes if it's still not working just tell me in the comments below contact me or something and i'll i'll help you out i have no problems i can even go on skype with you or whatever whatever you need just ask the questions and i will ha be happy to help you guys out i know that i was very frustrated when i found out after actually buying it that i can't use it so i did my research and i end up doing this so guys let me know in the comments below if you like the video if you don't if you like it subscribe please i'm gonna start doing it doing some gameplay of any kind actually not of computers right now but for 3ds and 2ds and actual ds games if you have any requests or you want me to do on a specific video let me know in the comments and i will happy to do it i in the next videos i will show my face maybe if that's what the subscribers want and thank you for watching